And really the tragic visuals we're seeing, and these are visuals that are heartbreaking for every Indian, is how our cremation grounds are absolutely crowded. And they, in fact, those pyres are giving the lie to official figures, which say often there are only five official deaths as cremation grounds report that over 20 people are cremated in a day. Joining me now is Sonakshi from Ghazibad in Uttar Pradesh, Anurag from Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, and Purva from Mumbai as well, where in Purva in, today in Maharashtra, over 500 deaths despite the lockdown. I mean, that's a record high, the first state to cross 500 deaths in 24 hours. We'll just go back to Purva, but let's go across. In fact, Anurag, what we talked about is the fact that how cremation grounds, these piles, are bearing witness to the real stories of Indians who've lost their lives to COVID, whereas official figures refuse to acknowledge those dead lives, those dead people. Yes, Sonia, and now the dead bodies are revealing the truth. If, it, if my camera person can show you, we are at Bhadbhada Crematorium in Bhopal, and this is a dedicated COVID uh, crematorium. You can see the dead bodies. The official figure for today in Bhopal is five, and the overall figure for the state. Those, those pyres, they're burning even at night, burning in crem cremation grounds, crematoriums working 24-7. Sonakshi, you're at Ghaziabad in Uttar Pradesh, where again we know it really is an absolutely terrible situation in terms of uh, hospital facilities, in terms of beds and people dying because of the lack of oxygen and other facilities. Sunakshi? That is absolutely right. The visuals behind me are telling enough. Uh, these are people um, who have died because of COVID, but the visuals behind me in Ghaziabad from a cremation ground, at least 110 COVID deaths have taken place. But let's remind ourselves that these are not just mere statistics. These are loved ones of somebody. But at this particular cremation ground at, at a crematorium, uh, here you would see uh, something that is unusual is that a space is now being made for the income coming flow of uh, the, 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 the COVID deaths uh, being lit on that. You can see the visuals behind me on these footpaths, which is, of course, a part of the cremation ground. But spaces are being made and created to be able to accommodate in. So, Sonakshi, I mean, that's, you're okay. saying that's part of the cremation ground, but it's actually on the pavement, the footpath of the crematorium. And you can see it's now 8 o'clock at night and you still have people there in PPE suits, grieving families and cremation workers. Purva, let's go across to you now if the connection is all right. In Maharashtra, the figures still telling a very tragic tale. Yes, absolutely. But in Mumbai right now, I am outside Sign Crematorium and uh, here, uh, you know, in Mumbai, there are about uh, 51 crematoriums which are BMC run and uh, that is why it gets divided. But Sign Crematorium is what we've been told is gets about 15 to 20 bodies uh, every day and that is like a wait time of our, oh, uh, at least an hour. So uh, definitely the chimney is consistently uh, burning here uh, in Mumbai. Most of the crematoriums are electric uh, crematoriums so, and the chimneys consistently burn, be it the Shivaji Park uh, crematorium or even the uh, Varli crematorium, Sain crematorium. These are all big crematoriums. Uh, 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 at night especially, like dead of night especially is when uh, we've been told that the ambulances are there and uh, that's when, uh, you know, but it is kind of managed because there are about 51 crematoriums uh, in Mumbai, but the situation is really bad in rural Maharashtra uh, where you do not even have electric fences and the fires are continuously burning. That is the scenario in rural Maharashtra and as you've been pointing out, 500 deaths all across Maharashtra. That's a very tragic figure there. Anurag, across to you, because we know this in so many states, we know in UP, in Bihar, in Gujarat, there's similar stories, and in Madhya Pradesh. Why does the, is the government not facing up to the problem? The, why are they not facing up to the truth that those burning pyres are telling? Yes, Sonia, I asked the same question to the government, to the government officials, and they said that, you know, we are not going uh, to get any reward uh, uh, if we conceal the figures. But these figures will tell you the truth. And clearly the government is lying because the number of, uh, you know, deceased, cremated or buried in Bhopal is 
far higher than what the official records have been stated, uh, stating over the past uh, days. The cremation grounds in Bhopal that would see 5 to 10 bodies being brought earlier are now seeing 35 to 40 bodies on a daily basis. And you can see both sides of this Bhadbhada crematorium in Bhopal. The number of bodies that are cremated following the COVID protocols is far higher than what the official figures show in Bhopal. As I said, today the official figure is just 5. And you can see the dead bodies here in Bhadbhada crematorium, Bhopal. And uh, a few days back also, we have found around 187 bodies were cremated at the two sites in Bhopal, in Bhadbhada and Subhashnagar, uh, you know, Vishram Ghat. But uh, the officials... Because these crematoriums have established designated COVID section to cremate those who died of COVID-19. And uh, uh, we have reported time and again that how uh, these, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, dead bodies uh, in, 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 in these crematoriums are uh, telling a fact and the government is concealing the death figures in Madhya Pradesh and Bhopal. Sonia?